stadium. I'll make him already a second up on Pedro Norte. Uh, here's the man I call the head waiter, Eric Bransdahl. Second favourite with the bookmakers today, 28 years of age. And this is the man, Bransdahl, who uh, hunts and waits. And that could be a good tactic today. Strandvall of Finland on his way. Look at this claim. You can see at the stadium, they've come all the way from the stadium. All except the first 200 metres is uphill. Here's Peter Nortuk's younger brother, Thomas. Seventh of the weekend in Ostersund. He's a man on form. Not quite the form of Finn Hagen Brook. Well, Ustigov uh, still chasing Peter Nortuk. Good to have these 15 second gaps. And here's Harrestad, the Olympic champion. Yeah, is he as good in classic as he is in freestyle? And uh, Harrestad, completely different physique. Tall, rangy athlete. Tony Ketelai, often overlooked, but this is a good sprint. He was third in Ottawa in the second of this season's three World Cup sprints and lies 19th in the sprint rankings, headed by the absent Bimkrok. Hanszynski, an Olympic silver medalist from uh, Whistler in 2010, and of course he was behind his teammate Nikita Krukov when the Russians produced a dynamic race plan and sprinted straight away from the beginning from the Norwegians and called everybody out. It was a great strategy, and uh, Alex Harvey, I hope he will, I'm quite sure, make it into the top 30. But for me, he's one of the best uh, athletes with, uh, with the best strategy on this type of course. Patukov for Russia, 31 years of age, a couple of second place finishes in freestyle sprints. Just want to rewind there to Alex Harvey, Mike, because it was here. Uh, in the 80s, that is that year, won the 30 kilometer classic style, went on to win the Holman column at 50 kilometer, and that was the year in which Alex was born. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be great for Alex Harvey to make history? Parking on that's a good time. I am sure it will be beat by up to four or five seconds. Simeon Hamilton for the United States from Aspen, just underway. Lies 20th in the World Cup rankings. Petter Nortug into the lead. A big bite, 2.21. And Petter Nortug, 4-1 to one with the bookmakers, the favourite to win gold today. Ustikov, he went out so fast, he'd certainly pulled back a couple of seconds off Peter Nordic by the top of the climb, but he had nothing left, barely anything left for the stadium. Still good though, 1.49 behind in fourth place. Bransdahl, quickest. And that's the head waiter on form. He is absolutely on form. It doesn't look like that effort has, has cost him anything. Bransdahl. 5-1 for the bookmakers, second favourite, Stransvald. I, I like the, you mentioned these fits earlier, I think Stransvald, Ketelai and Pinson, and I think they're a fantastic team, and Stransvald is very good at strategy. Thomas Norto, look at that, well, no flash in the pan, Ooh. says Thomas. I know I won at Ottawa, and I know everybody wasn't there, but that was my day. Eight, first and seventh in the three classic races. Look at Hannestein. Well, the Norwegians have absolutely reigned supreme in these uh, sprint races. It's been that way for as long as I can remember, to be honest. It's a line. Very, very easy here. He's just wanting to make his top 30 and then open up later.